This is Tennessee in the course practice test. This is question number 34. If I change venues, see if I hear a nice big echo now because they closed school or they turned the electricity off, so now I'm doing them in the garage. Ha ha. Uh, anyway, this is number 34. It says the average price of a movie ticket over a period of several years is shown in the graph below. And here it is. We have the price of the movie ticket listed, the average price. This is in dollars and the number of years since 1969. Now, if the trend continues, the question asks, what is the best prediction of the average price of a movie ticket in 2024? Well, because the graph lists 1969 as our initial point or as our zero point, we need to figure out how many years there are between 2024 and 1969. So I'm just going to subtract. It's the quickest way to do it. 1969, not 1996 is what I was trying to do. And I find out there are 55 years. So I'm going to go on my graph and try to figure out where 55 years would sort of uh, work out 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'm guessing they'd be somewhere in this range right in here. The 55 years it would take me to get to 2024. So I'm going to draw a line, nice, relatively straight line, straight up there. Um, what I need to do now is kind of find an, a line of best fit. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to use this amazing tool known as the calculator cover. I'm just going to try to sort of pick what I think the line would look like if it went through the middle of all of these dots. So somewhere in this general vicinity. They don't have to be exact because it's a, I'm not going to regress a line. And I'm just doing a very physical look at what that regress line would look like. It's probably actually a little high, my line. See how it goes above all these? But it does kind of fall in between these two, which sort of gets the general idea of where things are headed. This kind of has a bit of a curve to it as opposed to just a straight line. But that's OK. We can deal with that because the numbers are so far apart. Now, it says, what is the best prediction of the average price of the movie ticket? Here's $7. So that's $7. Well, it's obviously above $7, so anything below $7 is out. So it's not going to be $4.20. It's certainly not going to be $6.90. My real problem is to determine whether I think it's going to be $8.85 or $10.95. In order to do that, I'm going to look at the uh, scale on the y-axis. Here's the difference between 6 and 7. I can assume a similar difference between 7 and 8. So 7 is probably going to fall, or 7 falls here, so 8 is probably going to fall somewhere in this general vicinity. That's about 8, and 8.5 and will probably fall about here, and then 9 will probably fall somewhere in this range, something like that. Just make general statements about how far apart they are. That seems reasonable. So if I draw the line over, it falls in at about 9, almost 9. So I'm going to legitimately say that the answer choice is left, 1095 and 895. 895 is a much more reasonable answer. 1095 is way too much. That would be somewhere way up here. But our graph doesn't seem to indicate that that's the case. So for the answer for number 34 on the practice test, I'm going to pick H.